Hi guys, I'm Shmi. You're watching more George. Enjoy. Good morning guys, welcome to another more George and welcome to a bit of a different video today as you can see from the title and thumbnail I wanted to create a mini vlog I guess of Goodwood's Supercar Sunday. It is, I'm, I'm actually on the way, I'm halfway there and I've just had to stop to feed our baby. 1st of May 2022 and this is the day of Goodwood's Supercar Sunday event. I actually live only about 30 minutes from the Goodwood racetrack so this was an event that I couldn't miss. Tickets are free, you just have to register and I wanted to create a little vlog today to show you what it is like at the event, see some amazing cars. It's part of the Goodwood Breakfast Club series that they do. I've been to the 90s car event but this is, I'm not sure how many times a year they do this one but this is the Supercar Sunday and even just on the drive up here I am so excited. We've seen so many nice cars on the road. Little shot of the AC Cobra as we were driving up here but yeah I think my baby has finished his breakfast and we can hit the road. We're in the BMW 330e today. I don't think there's gonna be many more hybrids at this event, but nonetheless, we're getting there in silence and comfort. So let's hop back in the car, get over to Goodwood and see what the Supercar Sunday event is all about. You two ready? Very much so. We're here at Crader's first car event. Yeah. Last time he was here, he was in my belly. So that's he did. Weird. He did come to one, didn't <laughs> he? he? Technically came, but he wasn't out. Yeah. <laughs> so already, I mean, you can see some of the cars around. You could, at an event like this, have pretty much a good day out in the car park, I would say. Easily. Easily. New Defender there, which I do like. All sorts of cars in the car park. Obviously people, enthusiasts who have nice cars, bring them. Every kind of car, I'm not even gonna start listing them off or filming much, you can probably see in the background. I mean, a little line up here. Aston Martin Vantage, 911, 911. Another Aston Martin, another Aston Martin, an RS5, a Bentley there. Kind that was that was just walking park. for two seconds. So you could just have a day out in the car park here, but we're actually meeting my parents. They're at the entrance. I mean, this is busy today. A lot of people. Yeah, let's walk. It's gonna take us about half an hour to walk over to the entrance, but let's get over there and get inside. Also, according to the email that we got, Shmi150 is here, or was here. I don't know if he was here earlier or he's here later. Enjoy! Or if he's here at all, but it does say that he should be here maybe with some of his cars. Huge car, probably the biggest car YouTuber out there, so we will be on the lookout for him. But there are thousands upon thousands of people here today, and this is probably the busiest event I've been to in recent times especially post, well, post-pandemic, during the pandemic. Um, you wouldn't even know, it is incredibly busy. we've found the area where Shmi is displaying some of yes. his vehicles. They look really cool. Myself and my dad, big fan of Absolutely. his channel. Um, I think actually you introduced me to his channel originally. Yeah, that's right. Um, years and years ago, so yeah. recognize the- million. Keep working, fella. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> we're getting there. We hit 13 on this Too channel. Right. Good man. Half a million on my other channel, so we are getting there. But yeah, see the personalized plates straight away. Well, I think- the quite Yeah, <laughs> the trademark colors of some of his cars. So let's go and take a look. And see what he is displaying right now. It was covered in bugs at the front. 
<laughs> so you've just seen this car on his channel? Absolutely, yeah. yeah. It's done 3,000 miles already. We took it in through nine countries, only just picked it up from Italy, took it to nine countries, up to Sweden even, and then back through the tunnel just the other day. Wow. And here it is, all nicely polished again. Yeah. Right. Ready for displaying. So let's, let's go and take a little bit of a closer look. Cool. Yeah, that is beautiful. GT, first one I've ever seen. Yeah. Oh, really? Ford GT, first one I've ever seen. Oh, awesome. nice. Look at that. Yeah. Yeah, Ford GT. So he's displaying one, two, three, four cars today. The purple McLaren, Ford GT. This incredible Lamborghini. Look at the yellow. Look at the detail on that. He's got a certain taste, hasn't he? Absolutely. You can tell yeah. it's his. Oh, yeah. Straight away. He customizes them all, gets them just right. Perfect. Yeah, yeah. And then, of course, the new Ferrari as well. So it's actually really cool to see in person the cars. My dad's so excited. Like you've just been watching the vlogs with this like exact a kid car. Kid in the candy store. Yeah. And we were saying, first Shmi, does it get less exciting? Because he's does he get desensitized to this kind of thing and these supercars? But we think no. I don't think, think so. I think, think it's, it's just so enthusiastic. Yeah. It, it comes. It comes across. You can't fake things like that. You know. Yeah. Uh, it, it really is it, genuine. It, it just gets more. He's like a little kid himself with it all, but he's so knowledgeable as well. I mean, the numbers and uh, names that he rattles off. It's just something. And he's got the gift of the. He, his patter is sensational. Yeah. So, yeah. yeah, yeah. You yeah. must watch him. Um, yeah. Subscribe. <laughs> Definitely. <laughs> Absolutely. Like He's definitely had it all cleaned up, hasn't he? Wow, so, look at that. He has them all PVCs or something, whatever it is, PFT or whatever. Yeah, put on there. properly treated. Yeah. And then the Lamborghini. Yeah, that's... That is, that does stand out. Absolutely. Yeah, it really is, isn't it? modern art. Yeah. We notice he also has quotes on the bottom of all his number plates down here a quote from Mr Lamborghini himself so the Ford GT as well BBS wheels yeah really nice yeah I just saw this on one of the latest ones I don't know how many cars he has it's a lot isn't it quite a few and he's um he's done like uh, these ramps so he can he can stack them now yeah um, and he's just built a mezzanine as well in the schmu in the schmuseum schmuseum yeah that's what he calls it yeah design on this car is just mental, the way that door goes in there. And then the purple McLaren as well, again with the Shmi. What do we have here? Bruce McLaren, life is measured in achievement, not in years alone. That is awesome. Okay, so we've already seen and heard those Lamborghinis. We're looking around. We're actually queuing for some breakfast because this is the breakfast club. And as you can see, the queue wraps right around all the way, all the way around. People are after their sausage baps, their fried eggs, um, but really nice atmosphere. All the conversation around is about cars, full of enthusiasts. Also a nice family day out. There's loads of kids and families and people and every type of car. It's actually incredibly overwhelming because cars that you would usually be looking at and that would be turning heads, there's something more spectacular next to it. So my mind is all over the place. When there's six Ferraris in a row, which one do you look at? Which one do you spend time with? It's also quite hard to film the cars because there are so many people, but this is a real vlog. Wanted to just document and capture what it is like to be here. Maybe some people are watching from abroad want to see it. I will say if you do want to come to this in the future, get here early because some cars are already leaving it is 9 30 now i think it starts at 7 but it goes on for hours and hours and there's so much to see
have our breakfasts, our egg and bacon. All right. Are they all the same? All the same. Some coffee. Nice. Breakfast is served. He's asleep. And we managed to actually get a little table here, which is quite hard to do because there are only a handful of tables and obviously thousands of people. So we're going to quickly enjoy our breakfast and then have a little wander around. Tim's over at the paddocks at the moment, just to try and get some clips. So uh, I recognise him, and then I then I saw um, I saw someone that was like with me recently that was with you guys, and I thought oh, you might be here. Yeah. yeah. Happy. Yeah. Oh, he's open. happy. Did you enjoy? Did you see Shmi's vehicles? <laughs> Did you see Shmi's cars? Future supercar owner here, probably. Do you reckon? Yeah. In that little black car? Yeah, she might fly down that boat a bit quick, won't oh. you? Oh, So that is awesome to see four of Schmee's cars on display here at Goodwood. You can tell the enthusiasm of the people here. I can hear a lot of people talking about his channel and his videos, and all the things he's done and achieved and the, car he, the cars he owns. I think you can see it in my own dad's face and his voice, how excited even he was to see some of these cars. So very, very special, very cool, very exciting. If you're a car person, then get yourself here. Like Goodwood do a ton of events as well. So it's not just Supercar Sunday. Uh, the Breakfast Club spans a ton of different events. You can check it out on their website. We're quite lucky to live so close by. And also that a lot of these things are free. You just have to register. Apparently it used to be ticketless completely, but now they try and manage the numbers a little bit, but you only have to register with your email and it is free to come along. So with Shmi's McLaren in the background, I'm gonna go ahead and end off this vlog. I hope you've had fun watching. Hope you feel like you've come along with me a little bit. Um, this wasn't really going around looking at specific cars and specific models and things like that, but I just wanted to give an overall view of what it was like to be here today. See some of Shmi's cars. It's just a great way to spend a Sunday morning. So thanks so much for watching. If you enjoyed, please subscribe, please hit the like button. I'm gonna try and get this video out today on the day that you're watching this. So if you were here, if you've stumbled across this video, then please leave a comment say hello. Make me jealous if there's anything incredible that I missed. We're gonna have one more little wander around some of the areas we haven't yet been to and then head home. So thanks again for watching and I will see you in the next video. Okay, little bonus clip at the end of the vlog. We um, have been walking around for 20 minutes to try and find our car, which we cannot find anywhere, despite having the BMW app, which pinpoints the location. Um, turns out it's not as accurate as one would hope when you're trying to find your car amongst hundreds of cars in a field. So, um, yeah, good luck to us and hopefully we do find it.